That's right, everyone. I am back. I am back. Um, these past couple days, I've been extremely busy, gone literally all day, and uh, it's. I didn't even post anything yesterday, and I feel really bad about that, but um, I'm back, and I am ready to dig into the different things that I missed, including Captain Marvel's reviews on Rotten Tomatoes that came out yesterday. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it now, and um, I see that we are, in fact, at an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. They already have a critic's consensus out for Captain Marvel, which, like, usually takes a few more days than, than this, but... Uh, as we all know, Rotten Tomatoes has exposed that they are indeed Disney shills, so it doesn't surprise me that this is out already. And uh, it says, packed with action, humor, and visual thrills, Captain Marvel introduces the MCU's latest hero with an origin story that makes efficient or effective use of the franchise's signature formula. Which is um, interesting because um, most of the reviews that I saw, it didn't really sound like it was all that great. Even some of the reviews that I read um, from some of the critics um, talk about it being shaky and unfocused. Um, and let's see, what else? Convoluted plotting and all of that stuff. But they decided to still give it a fresh score anyway because these reviewers these critics are shills of the mouse and they just continue to expose themselves even more when they do things like this like give the review not even that great of a review like a two out of four review um things like that you know but they still give it a fresh rating on rotten tomatoes because they have to keep the good graces with the mouse himself um and then some of them obviously uh decided to actually um speak honestly and i'm actually kind of surprised with some of these people like indie wire um gave it a rotten review which it just shocked me but what was even more shocking was that um the hollywood reporter gave captain marvel a rotten review i did not see that coming at all that was like a complete curveball um the hollywood reporter has been a huge advocate of this film up until this point and it's just really shocking to see that they actually gave it a rotten review and the hollywood report Re hollywood reporter has actually gained my respect a little bit again after seeing that at least they're still kind of trying to be honest at least this dude is todd mccarthy so well done todd for that um that must have taken quite a bit of courage to do that so well done on that then we have here Grace Randolph giving a fresh review when she's not trying and failing to do a Robert Downey Jr. impression. Brie Larson's Captain Marvel is a hero who doesn't hesitate, which is pretty darn cool. And I don't know, that just doesn't really seem like it should be a fresh review. I mean, it doesn't really sound like a glowing praise for, for the movie and certainly not for Brie Larson herself. Um, but, you know, apparently Grace Randolph being... Um, Recently, a, a new um, reviewer on Rotten Tomatoes and stuff. Um, it looks like she wants to keep her good uh, good graces with that um, whole situation. And then we have the shills of shills, John Campy, who gave it a seven out of ten, and he says that it is a it is an important Marvel movie that connects a lot of dots the MCU has generated over 20 plus films. Not one of the top tier MCU films, but a solid and entertaining one nonetheless. But he calls it an important Marvel movie. But, uh, you know, it's not important enough to, you know, he, he's basically saying that the, the film itself wasn't very good. But it's an important movie because, of course, it has a whammon in it. And so it, it's just it's just important. It's, it's an important movie. We, we need to have this movie because it has a whammon in it. So, so yeah. Um, and, of course, you know, you had people like uh, the Mary Sue who, who were saying things like, Only white men gave this movie rotten reviews. But then you have people like Stephanie who gave this movie a rotten review. Good job, Stephanie from Time Magazine. You earned my respect for that. And uh, not just because you're a whammon, but I just respect you as a human being who's willing to be honest with your review. Mara. Another woman who gave it a rotten review. So shove that up your butt, um, Mary Sue. And uh, of course, we got Esther as well, who is, in fact, not a white man who gave it a rotten review. So the Mary Sue just once again continues to make themselves look like complete idiots, which just further validates us who are the common sense crowd. 
And of course, when you actually go go here and look, um, you can see that the top critics only have it at 60%. It is almost freaking rotten at the time of this review, uh, or this video, I should say, that I'm doing. And by the time that this video comes out, it might even be rotten, which would be absolutely glorious. It would be absolutely glorious, and I would be covering that so much because that would be beautiful. The fact that 12 have given it a rotten review is absolutely incredible so that is that is fantastic i can't wait for this weekend to see what happens um it's going to be so exciting it is going to be so fun to see what happens with the box office and as we continue to see these critics posting the reviews as well um who knows where it's going to stand the last time i looked at this it was at like 63 percent and that was like early this morning so it's already dropped like three percent which is just insane so you know i'm really excited to see what happens this weekend uh, this movie is not getting the glowing praises exactly that I des that I expected it to. I expected it to be like around like a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it is clearly not the case so with that. So that is just it's crazy. This is um, this is all showing that this movie really isn't all that good in the long run. And the only people that are really giving it fresh ratings are the shills who want to keep their privileges with the mouse and all of that stuff. So yeah, very exciting to see, and I can't wait to see what happens this weekend with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this and with that being said i will talk to you very soon in another video talk to you later bye